Welcome to Online Art Time with us today. In this video, we're going to be making a stone caterpillar. We're going to be painting with acrylic paint and using varnish. It could potentially be very messy. Be careful. I don't want you to make a mess on anything. It's best if you do this outside. Also, wear some really nice protective clothing like this. Nice. Let's start painting. The materials you'll need for a stone caterpillar are some newspaper, lots of it. Find some good newspapers with nice good images inside. Loads of rocks. You need loads of rocks. I mean lots of rocks. Big rocks, little rocks. Big rocks are good though. Kind of medium. Wash them off. Use some water and a brush or something and wash them off and let them dry before you do the art project. You'll need some paints. We're going to be using acrylic paint, acrylic paint, acrylic paint is plastic paint and it dries waterproof mainly. So get some paint. These are the colors I used. I used green, yellow, red, and a little bit of black. Oh, so much stuff. Different kinds of acrylic paint. There you go. Uh -huh. You'll need some paint brushes. You'll need some paint brushes like that. Probably a large, medium, and very fine. You'll need a water pot. This is one I made out of a milk container so that I can hold the brush without getting things messy. Obviously, you need some water in your water pot. So get some water, put the water in there. There's some of the green water. Yeah. You'll need some kind of lid on a container to mix paints in. So you, you just get some kind of plastic lid or something. And you'll need the container itself later on to put some white spirits in. So get a lid and its container. And you can use that for all kinds of goodies. You'll need some varnish. I'm using outdoor varnish. It's clear, waterproof, and it's protection. It's glossy, and that's important because that makes it look shiny and pretty. It brings out the lovely colors. So much stuff. To clean off the varnish, you'll need some white spirits. So there are some white spirits. You can get some at B&Q or other places. It doesn't matter where you get it. You probably have some at home anyway. Get some white spirits. You'll need a paper towel or a, or a cloth towel, slightly down, just ever so slightly down. So you wash your hands, you dry them off on the towel or the rag. A, ra a cotton rag will do really well for this, and that makes it just right. You'll need maybe a Sharpie pen to write your name on. Or to do some details, you'll need maybe a pencil, a pencil to make some dots with on the back. You'll need some glue. Whoa, so much stuff. You'll need a wee bit of a pipe cleaner. Just one pipe cleaner will do you, any color. You need some tape, any kind of tape. It could be cell tape, masking tape, doesn't matter. And when you're using the um, when you're using the pipe cleaner, it could be a, a paper clip as well. Paper clip would do just fine because you can just bend it over. And those are the materials you need. It's a lot. To make a stone caterpillar, we start by getting a piece of newspaper to protect the table. We get an old lid or something like that, and we're going to put some paint on there. So we get some acrylic paint, some kind of paint, get a good mix. Open it carefully because you don't want this to go anywhere. It's, it's really messy stuff. Oh, I told you. <laughs> paint on there. Not too much. You can always add more. But it's hard to put it back in the bottle. Next, get your rock and put it down to see where it sits flat. When it 
sits flat. That's the way you want it. That's the bottom and that's the top. Then get your brush and dip that tip. That's right, just the tip, not the heel. This is the, this is the tip, this is the belly, and that's the heel. Tip, belly, heel. Dip the tip and then paint your rock. If you're using acrylic paint like I am, you're going to need to be careful. It will ruin clothes and surfaces. It will stick. So, be careful. Try not to get too messy. And when you're done, go wash your hands well. Don't wipe it on your clothes. Oh, that's looking lovely. I'm going to get a bit of my fingers. It's okay. I'm going to wash it off carefully in a moment. I'm trying to get good coverage on my rock. I might have to paint it a second time. This is just the first time I'm painting it. And yes, I'm even going to paint the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that to dry. We need a lot of rocks. So, get some yellow paint if you have some. Give it a good mix. Careful to open it gently so it doesn't spatter everywhere. And add a little bit of yellow maybe. Then get another rock down to see where it sits. Oh, that sits well that way. That's going to be the bottom and that's going to be the top of my rock. And so then I again start to paint, but this time I'm going to dip the tip in the yellow and I'm going to dip the tip in the green. I dipped the tip in both. I didn't swirl them. I dipped the tip and then I can paint it and it makes a different color green. Isn't that lovely? That's more a leaf green, like a caterpillar. Mm -hmm. Just dip the tip, don't need to swirl it around, and paint your rock. to dry. Now, just keep going. Get more rocks and paint them up.
If you have some paint left over, get another rock and just use it up. Use this paint up. Don't let it sit there. Use it all up and paint another rock. We can always do something with the rock once it's painted. We can make it into a frog. We can make it into an insect. We can make it into a little animal. up that paint. Good. No more paint left. Fantastic. Next. Go wash your brush and your fingers in warm water with soap. Be careful, don't get it on anything. Don't touch your clothes, don't touch the doorknobs, don't touch anything. Just wash your hands and the brush with warm soapy water. I'll be right back. The next thing to do is get some more newspaper. Get another rock, find which way it sits best, which way do you like it best. Oh, I quite like it that way. That's going to be the bottom. Get your paint palette and your paint brush, and this time use a bit of red paint. Again, I'm not going to squeeze too much. this rock red. This time I squeezed it right onto the rock. Much easier sometimes. When you're done painting this rock, remember to wash your hands and your brush with warm soapy water. Careful not to splash it on anything or touch your clothes. Let's go. Next, get some more newspaper, get one of your green rocks, get a pencil, and get a little bit of paint of your color choice. Just put a little bit on there, just a little bit, not much. And we're going to use the pencil in a really unique way. What we're going to do is we're going to dip the tip of the back of it. I'm going to dip the back of the pencil, just dipping it in just slightly to get a little bit of yellow on there. You can use any color you like, but you just dip it in and then you just touch it on. And it makes a nice dot. And you can go ahead and make surface details all over your rocks. You can 
use any color you like. You could do all kinds of patterns. It's up to you. You can make your rock the way you like it. I'm just making quite a mess in the tray, but I'm keeping it over the tray, so that's okay. When that dries, I'll turn it over and do the other side. For now, I'm going to go wash my hands and I'm going to go wash off my pencil. I don't want to leave that on there. There we go. I've wiped it off on some paper towel. I'm going to go wash my hands now just in case because that acrylic paint gets everywhere. Next, get some more newspaper and your rock and the paint and maybe a better paintbrush this time. This one's a little bit finer. And I'm just going to dip that tip, dip the tip, only the tip, and I can use that to almost draw a detail on there. So I'm just dipping the tip and I'm pulling it across the surface. Dip the tip and pull it across the surface. Dip the tip and pull it. Dip the tip and pull it. Dip the tip and pull it. Dip the tip. Now I'm going to go wash my brush and my fingers. Get another rock and use your paintbrush. And dip that tip and make a different pattern on the next one. So each rock has its own pattern. Remember you can use different colors for this. Dip that tip. Have fun. patient, be careful. Don't go fast, go slow and careful.
get another rock, dip that tip, and paint another surface detail. Get another stone and dip that tip and paint another pattern. Get another rock, and use up that yellow, dip the tip, and make another pattern. I'm going to get my red rock and use my brush. I'm going to dip the tip in some yellow. Dip the tip. I'm going to make some eyes. Uh, there's where my rock's going to sit, so I'm going to make some eyes right here. Big yellow dots. I may have to paint this two or three times to get the yellow to look really good. That's my first coat. I'm gonna set that aside now to dry. Now that that's dried a wee bit, take your paint and repaint the eyes. It'll make them a better color. If you paint the yellow yellow again over, it gets more intense.
the face. Get some black acrylic paint and get your brush and dip that tip. Just a wee bit will do you. And right there, just paint a wee triangle. Dip that tip. wash my brush again. Next, get a wee touch of green. Tiny touch of green. It doesn't have to be much. Dip that tip and then we're going to put it right in the middle there and make some eyes. These are the pupils of the eyes of the very hungry caterpillar. I'm going to go wash my brush again. After the stones have dried, get some varnish and a paintbrush and dip that tip and varnish your rocks. You don't have to do this, but it makes them last longer and look shiny and pretty. I'm using a gloss varnish. I got it one of the shops. Colors brighter and pretty. I'm varnishing the whole thing, so it kind of weather seals it. Finally, we're going to varnish that. Wow. 
when you're all done varnishing your bras, get a paper towel or a cloth or something, and you're going to need some white spirits, some kind of white spirits, and you put a little bit of the white spirits onto the paper towel. Just a little bit will do you. And that should be good for cleaning your fingers. And get them as clean as you can. Get off as much of the varnish as you can. Then clean your brush in that too. Try to get off as much as you can. We're gonna soak our brush in some of that. In a moment, I'm gonna put that into a container and just soak it a wee bit. Try and get it off as much as you can. Once you think you have them as clean as you can get them, and they're still a bit wet, that's okay. Put the lid back on. Nice and firm. Outdoor varnish. Gloss. It's good stuff. Weatherproof. Get a container, some kind of little plastic container or a jar or something, and put a little bit of the white spirits into there. Just a little bit, not much. Then we're going to soak my brush in that a wee bit. I'm going to try and soak it in that a wee bit. And get it really wet in that, in that um, white spirits. Didn't want much in there. That's good because I'm going to use that for other things. Okay, I'm going to now dry that off in my paper towel. And wipe it off into my newspaper. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take the lid for this. I know it has a little bit of paint on it, but I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to put that back on there. That'll keep it for later on. That's good for later. I can use that again when I go to wash things. Clean off any surfaces that you have. Make sure that your area is tidy and neat. When we get rid of this paper towel, make sure you put it someplace safe where it won't burn. Because sometimes they catch on fire, so be careful. So put it in your waste bin and then get rid of it and keep it sealed. My hands are a bit dirty. And the brush is a wee bit dirty. I've washed them both and I've wiped them off both with the white spirits. I'm going to now go wash them in warm, soapy water and get the white spirits off my fingers and off the brush. Next, get some newspaper that you like. He looks like a really nice guy. Then, take the pipe cleaner and bend it in half. Just bend it right in half. Squeeze it well. Then bend this part up a bit, the more you fold it, just bend it up a bit so it's kind of like an L shape. You can spread it just a little bit like that. And at the end, take those and curl them up so they look like curly antenna bits. You can curl them however you like. I like it if you do it different than mine, but it's up to you how you do it. So I'm just curling those bits up a bit, making them look like antennas that would be on top. Then I take the head that I made earlier. I'm going to take the glue, I'm going to stick a bit of glue right onto there. There we go. Nice bit of glue. I'm going to stick that on top of the head. So I put the head down and right on top of the head I'm going to stick that on there. But I don't know if that's going to stay there very well. So I'm going to just use some tape. I've just got a piece of cell tape here. I'm going to put that tape on top loosely just to hold it whilst it dries. I'm not putting it down tight. Notice I didn't put it tight. I just held it on there just enough so that it can dry for a while. Okay, now I'm going to put that aside to dry. It's looking cute though. Finally, I go outside and I take off the tape nice and carefully and I set it up in the garden.
Oh, that's so cute. Stone Caterpillar. Scene one, take one. Introduction. Introduction. Oh yeah. <laughs> Try again. We're gonna be painting with acrylic paint. It's gonna get quite messy. Please make sure you cover your clothes with something. I'm wearing an apron. I know it's like a fashion statement, but look at that. Oh yeah, isn't that nice? Nice apron. You do need something though, because this is potentially messy and might ruin your clothes. Also, be careful of the things like the table and the chairs and things around you. The acrylic paint will ruin things and the varnish can ruin things too. Introduction! Oh yeah! <laughs> Try again. <laughs> 